Just before I start, please remember to like the video because it's a nice, easy thing to do. What's up, guys? This is Omega Liar, and today I'm bringing you a gameplay here on Nuketown. It's the second half of a demolition, and uh, I'm going to be using the M27, which is the gun I think people more often than not give a miss. And there's a few reasons for that. But before I get into it, because this is the second half, the score at the end will entirely make sense. I started off 14 and 8. Uh, and 50 and 11, so that means the second half was a 36 and 3. So a very nice score, because I used the hammer in the first part, uh, which is an LMG. But now, uh, also I apologize for my cold, but let's talk about the M27. There's, there's a few reasons uh, that you're going to see me laying back in this game a little bit. And that's because the M27 is the opposite of a rushing weapon. It has a 4-shot kill up close, always, because it cannot possibly have a 3-shot kill. Whereas a similar gun, the MTAR, has a 3-shot kill up close. Uh, and on top of that, the gun has very light recoil. But the, the slow fire rate and the high amount of bullets to kill make it, at close range, the slowest killing assault rifle in the game. And therefore, you're going to want to avoid running around too much with it. Because the, the fact is, it simply won't get you the kills that you need to get. There's better options, and it's not what the gun is for. Now... The real way to use the M27 is do what I'm doing here. Hold the choke point of some sort, although well, I'm using an, an XM8, but hold the choke point of some sort and sit back, pick people off at a distance, and take advantage of what the gun gives you. The fact is, this gun holds a 4-shot kill at the same range that the SMR holds a 2-shot kill. So most of the time, you're going to be getting a 4-shot kill, which means you want to put yourself at a range where the other people don't have the advantage they would have close range when their guns start dropping off to 5-shot kills, even 6-shot kills occasionally. <laughs> that's how you want to play. Now, unfortunately, I had run out of ammo here, and that's that's actually brings me up to what I sort of developed after this gameplay. Uh, the My preferred setup for it is just the fast mags and the grip. Uh, you want to run two attachments because grip makes it like the ACR, uh, and fast mags is just very beneficial, but... Uh, if you don't want to use fast mags, extended mags, or nothing is a great idea. Keep in mind, the iron sights are very open, very usable, and uh, also kind of cool looking. So, uh, I would uh, I would keep that in mind. It's a, it's a pretty good idea. Uh, so now, that's, that's my preferred setup. And I usually run it with toughness and scavenger and hardline. Uh, the, because you're not running around, ghost isn't a good idea. Uh, at least if you're going to be playing it properly. Because you simply won't get the, adva uh, the advantage of ghosts because unless I mean if you are rushing you're kind of doing it wrong now uh, the other perks uh, which would be the third tier perks doesn't really matter dexterity isn't also that useful uh, I would either drop it for equipment or a secondary um, in this case I am using dexterity but in hindsight that was a mistake um, and if you stick to that uh, you you'll find yourself having a lot of success now see here, we've blown up the first bomb, so I move away from my first choke point, and then I move on to the second one, where I have sort of three main lines of sight. And they're all very long range, and you'll see this pays off for me in the end, as I pick up another fairly decent kill streak, if I remember correctly. Uh, and as long as you just move from position to position, make sure that you have uh, some form of head glitch, or uh, choke point, or uh, what's it called? Um, clipping spot, whatever you want to call it. As long as you have one of those, this gun is going to serve you well. And that that's pretty much the idea. I mean, I, I'm not generally one to, to uh, promote camping, but the gun is made for it. They really did try to cater to every type of playstyle. If you want to rush around with a similar gun like this, then you use the MTOC, because then you get a three-shot kill up close, and then you have the four-shot kill at distance. It has more recoil, but it's still, it's sort of the rushing version of this weapon. Um, what you shouldn't do is necessarily what I'm doing here, but the point was we were trying to get the bomb planted and win, so uh, we pushed up into a major spawn trap, plus with the warships or whatever. But I think no, that's probably the best way to do it. Now there are other very, very good attachments. Uh, one of the best ones by far is the silencer. If you use a silencer on your M27, you're not going to notice the drop off in damage. And that means that from your um, clipping spot way off in the distance, no one is going to be able to find you. 
and that that has a whole form of benefits of its own. But if you uh, pair that with scavenger, and you continue to move from point to point, you won't really run out of ammo. And uh, the team actually quit off here, but I think they joined back in. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to use the grip. And then the other choice, the other choice bit of attachment comes down to you. If you really don't like the iron sights, use a red dot. Uh, if you do like the iron sights, use a silencer. If you don't like the iron sights, but you want to use a silencer, use both because you can do three attachments. And um, I think I think if you stick to that, you'll definitely find a lot of success with this gun. Uh, and that's that's basically all the tips I have actually. So that that timed perfectly. Uh, if you like this video, as always, comment, rate, subscribe. Again, I myself am not that much of a camper, but if a gun is made for camping, you might as well camp. No, <laughs> no. Uh, I might get a little hate for that, but whatever. Uh, if you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next commentary. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, new tips and tricks, commentaries coming soon. The guns will only get better as time goes on. So.